Y'all, in today's story, the headline is Mom is Delighted to be Pregnant with Son's Baby and the Father is on Board. Wow. Before we get into today's video, I did want to let you guys know that this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody, anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance, and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber. Y'all already know, uh, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Hope everybody got outside and enjoyed their weekend. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about this mom being delighted to be pregnant with her son's baby and the father being on board and all of that stuff. Before we get into it though, we I'm gonna address this real quick just because y'all keep sending me these videos and these articles about Amber Heard allegedly faking her having a baby. Now, if you guys are not all caught up with it, I'm just gonna run it by you guys real quick because I don't see anything credible. So all of us know that watched the whole Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial, which by the way, Johnny Depp is dating again, this right here. This is Johnny Depp's new girlfriend and she is one of his attorneys from one of his trials. She was not one of the ones that was actually doing his trial, the one that we watched the Virginia trial, but she has been his attorney before and her name is Joelle Rich. And they're saying apparently they were hiding in plain sight. And she was allegedly married about a year ago. She's gotten a divorce and her kids are separated, but. I think she's cute and I think that they look cute together and I'm happy for Johnny Depp if he's happy that he's dating, especially with him dating somebody that is not in Hollywood. You know, he's dating somebody outside of Hollywood. This may be new for him. So I'm happy for him. Anyways, moving on. So that whole Amber Heard situation, y'all know that the rumor, the word allegedly is this baby that she has is with Elon Musk because they were allegedly arguing over frozen em embryos and eggs and sperm and all that stuff because they were gonna have a baby together. And now all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, Amber pops up with a baby that she says she's had with a surrogate, but where did the other side of the baby come from? But now there's all these rumors going around and there's even like the fake baby with Amber and I'm gonna tell you what, Amber don't do herself no favors, okay? There's these photos that have popped up like this right here of her walking around with an empty stroller. And then the most recent thing is these videos of her in Spain, and I'll show you right here, that have been going around on TikTok that somebody took of her in the water there with this baby and what it, it looks like, or the rumor is, is that Amber took a photo with this baby and that this wasn't her baby and she gave it back to the mother or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't know about any of this. Amber said that her baby, Una, was born in 2021, and, and I don't know. She This would have to be a really big stretch for her to be faking this whole baby this whole time. I don't really think so. Seems like she could have done crazier things, but I don't know. It's all a rumor. So there, I've talked about it, you guys. I'll just tell you that I don't see enough, like, evidence. Anybody can send emails. I get emails, all kinds of stuff. I get people that say they work in the jail with Watts. I get people that work in the jail with Aiden Fucci. I mean, I get all kinds of emails that I read, but I don't make videos on them. So... I don't know. Okay, let's move on to this. Now, when I saw this headlines for this, I was like, okay, what is going on here? I'm seeing these photos of the mom and son who, by the way, look at this beautiful smile. And then I got past the headlines, which we need to do. And I read the article. So let me read it with you guys. And I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. It says a mom, we call it mom over here, a mom pregnant with her own son's baby after offering to be her daughter-in-law's surrogate 
says she can't wait to give birth to her granddaughter. Nancy Houck, 56, stepped in after her daughter-in-law, Cambria, 30, had a hysterectomy following the traumatic birth of their twins. Cambria and husband Jeff, 32, have already been struggling to conceive for six years, but after wanting to expand their family, Nancy had a feeling that she was the one who should carry the baby and told Jeff, her son, a computer scientist, that she would be willing to do it for them. Now, Nancy, who is the mom slash mom, was surprised when the doctors told her at 56 years old, honey, you can have this baby. Can you believe that, y'all? Now, that right there alone is awesome or a miracle. Not a miracle. I mean, women do have babies at 56 and even older sometimes and the men definitely do some of y'all men is not slowing down okay I know men that has had babies in their 80s okay talk about a surprise to them but it happens but the women it's a little bit harder for us it's getting tired it's tired of holding babies but this woman at 56 was cleared by her doctor to carry this baby for her son and daughter-in-law and they are just over the moon happy about it because when they went in to do the IVF treatment the baby took okay so when the family started the hormone treatment in January of 2022 and they had it fertilized the embryo transfer at the clinic in February, they were over the moon when it worked. So it worked, you guys. What a miracle. Nancy, who is an administrator, said that I never imagined I would be pregnant again at 56 or that this would even be possible, but it is the most beautiful thing. And I never planned for it, but I had this feeling not long after her daughter-in-law's traumatic birth that I should carry their baby. And I told them that I would be willing, but that I thought I would be too old. But to my surprise, the medic said that I was healthy and that I could do it, and here I am. The pregnancy has been very similar to carrying my son, but I've been a bit more nauseous. So what do y'all think? There was a lot of mixed reviews about this online. I think, first of all, that's it's not for us to decide if it's right or wrong. I think that they all look happy, and I am happy for them, okay? Now, I don't know if I could do it, however... Who, as a son, I guess, would you feel more safe with carrying your child other than your wife than your mother? You know what I mean? Like, I guess when you really think about it, I can understand. I mean, it was it's really, truly a beautiful thing. And if she had to have a hysterectomy and they wanted to have another baby... I mean, you're, what are you going to do? Go and interview a bunch of strangers? I mean, it's kind of incredible. She's 56. Now, now I, I don't know, you guys. You're talking from somebody that is very close with her mother-in-law. Me and my mother-in-law talk multiple times a day. I mean, we are building a house on a piece of property, and they're going to be moving on it, too. Like, we're very, very, very close. She was in the room with me when I had my baby. She's seen me have a seizure with her own eyes. I mean, we're very close. Okay. So I think that this is, it's different than anything I've ever heard, but it's also beautiful that they're so close and that the daughter-in-law, when she had this hysterectomy, that she could depend or trust her mother-in-law to carry the baby. And you got to think about how connected this grandmother is going to feel to her grandbaby. I think it's awesome. I think it's super cool. I, like I said, I don't know if I could do it, but then again, I don't know. The more you think about it, it's talk about that closeness in the relationship to be able to do that. Ah, what do y'all think? Do y'all think, nah, I couldn't do it? Do you think, wow, that's beautiful? Do you think, I wish I had a mother-in-law I could just go to dinner with and not argue, much less <laughs> them carry my child if I couldn't? What do y'all think? I think it's beautiful. It's a blessing. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Other than that, I will see y'all on Friday. Oh my gosh, I should have told y'all this in the beginning. Do y'all know about Patreon in my second channel? and Facebook and Instagram. They're all linked down in the description box. Patreon, we got some good stuff coming up this month. We have a $2 tier over there, which is $2 a month, and we do all the true crime stuff that we cannot do over here. We talked about a lot of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard stuff, and we're getting into the conspiracies this month. So it's all linked down below if you guys want to join. Other than that, I will see you guys on Friday. Thank y'all for watching. Love you guys. Bye. We are, we are dreaming in the dark We are nothing more than dust Search but you still
stay lost We are